The first job of tonight's celebrations, Citizen of the, of the Year Awards, is about uh, joining together as a, as a local community. There is so much good work that goes on, both paid and mostly unpaid, and I think it's important that people like me and the City Council and other organisations just say thank you to the people that give all their time and effort. Stoke on Trent has some challenges around um, aspirations of, of, of people in the city, and I think to recognise and promote the good work that's going on is absolutely what we should be about. Well I think it's a fabulous opportunity that people can um, actually be recognised for the stuff they do, sometimes the sort of hidden gems in our society that, that actually don't get recognised and we think that it's really important that our business is, is seen and demonstrably committing to helping North Staffordshire and Stoke-on-Trent in particular. Helping people feel good about themselves, good about the place they live, it's very, very important. Um, just creating a, a, a happier atmosphere and it's in the run up to Christmas as well where everybody's thinking about their families so yeah good timing good event and, and, and good for the spirits. What we're going to do tonight is tell you about the seventh year we're celebrating the Stoke-on-Trent and North Staffordshire Citizens of the Year Awards and we're going to have an absolutely exciting evening tonight It's really wonderful to hear uh, people from all ages and all backgrounds just committed to their communities and to the environmental improvement uh, just for the betterment of the people of Stoke on Trent. So uh, it's wonderful to see, wonderful to see and wonderful to hear. There's so much tremendous work going on in various communities in Stoke and amongst young people. Everybody says on these occasions that you know they owe, owe everybody else that they couldn't have done it without everybody else. And that I think is true, but in return I've had enormous friendship